Good afternoon, guys, and happy uh, Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. I was going to say it's Friday. Guys, today I woke up late, but um, we didn't have football, and I actually felt pretty productive. I got a load of laundry in the washing machine, and I was also able to get um, dishes done today as well. Um, I have to do another load because my mom did cook today, but tomorrow we have got um, Jack's Jamboree game um, that I'm obviously coaching and Matthew will be there and um, Jack obviously has to go. My mom's going to be there too, but um, we have that going on tomorrow. We also have to go grocery shopping tomorrow as well and um, Today though, Matthew actually ended up having football practice this morning and my dad actually had to go to the, I guess, final kind of catch-all football um, equipment handout because there was a couple kids um, that ended up signing up late because we are actually trying to get two um, teams at like the lower levels and we were really hoping we would be able to, we were able to, but those kids obviously signed up later and weren't able to get their equipment during the earlier handouts. Um, so we had to do, my dad had to go do that today. But um, then this afternoon I was actually watching the Cubs game and I was going to edit. I did my work actually earlier, somewhat earlier this afternoon. And I was gonna edit, but what I decided to do instead was actually do my planner. And I didn't print out the planner that I told you guys I was making in Publisher. Um, I'm going to possibly eventually do that. But what I've been doing the last like week or so um, with football is I've had a notebook and I've been keeping track of like time wise and like extra little things too, like just little notes that I've had to jot down or whatever, right? Like if I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta remember to, um, you know, make sure the kids know they're supposed to pick up their water bottles after practice, you know, or remind them or remind them like they need to be ready at six o'clock. Practice starts at six o'clock. If we have to blow the whistle five minutes before to make sure that they get, you know, their equipment on or whatever, then that's what I'll do, um, you know, or whatever. So I've been writing down like jotting little notes and then also keeping a timeline of um, like the day's activities, I guess, and like making sure that we stay on time with everything and not going over. So um, I've been doing that and it has been working out really well. And like I've been super, super organized before practice and everything like that. And it's actually crazy like compared to like not even so much last year because last year was just really dysfunctional, but like two years ago, even to just staying on point with everything and making sure that like everything is just going very smoothly. And so um, it's been working out really well and I was like, you know what, maybe I'll take another shot at the bullet journal. And so that's what I actually ended up doing for today um, was I ended up doing it in my bullet journal only because I want to make one, I think what I'm going to do is make my planner, like once I've tested out and worked around some things that I like kind of like and kind of don't like and figure out what is the best use of like my, um, you know, how I like to organize my stuff. And once I figure that out, I think doing the bullet journal, cause if I want to every single week, I can change it, make it something different in format and stuff like that and adding different things and stuff like that. And once I figured that out, then I want to put together a year, a year long planner for myself. And I want to do that, um, in publish or something like official. Um, so that's why I kind of want to do that. The only reason I don't love having the, um, bullet journal is because again that it's something that i have to do every single week i can't just be like okay i'll jot down a couple things for today and jot down a couple things here and there i need to take like a good you know at least 20 minutes to half an hour or whatever to format it in the way that i want to do it so it actually didn't take me that long and doing it for the first time was a little bit more difficult i didn't use a ton of super fancy pens um i just honestly i have four pens right here i've got these four pens um, that were all the only ones that I had that were really like different colors um, <laughs> that I wanted to these are actually they're the um, big crystal and I had a pack of them I think they came in like an 8 or 12 pack or whatever and I had a whole pack of them and I can only find four of them now and I have no clue what ended up happening to them they probably ended up going off to other people and they got lost from there but I did want to use I think I have the Z 
zebra pens, I think, or something like that. And those were the ones that I was going to use, but I want to just, again, test stuff out and see how I like it in formatting and everything like that. So I'll give you guys a little short, little brief um, tidbit of kind of how this looks. I actually only ended up using um, two pages in total, like four sides, um, the back and front to um, two pages. Um, so I'll show you guys that. So that this is what it looks like. This is actually how I was starting it was over in here. I did the key and index and I was writing this all in pencil and my pencil, my handwriting and pencil is really horrible and I hate it. I really hate my handwriting in general, but I feel like this was actually a little bit better and formatted a little bit better than I liked. Um, so again, I'm totally just testing stuff out with how and what I like on here. But this is what I kind of just did and I did it a little bit smaller. I kind of like to have a full page for one day for one day but what I ended up doing was splitting them so I did Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday on this one and then Thursday Friday Saturday and then next week if there's anything that I need to start jotting down for that so then what I ended up doing up here was just like I said the week and then did the day and the date and then over here I did like little things that I know is coming up so obviously tomorrow like I told you guys we have a football game I also have to go grocery shopping tomorrow we did go to um um, office depot and menards today um just because it's easier to hit those up i also went to the dollar store too maybe i'll share that with you guys tomorrow like a mini dollar store haul and what i got but um we just need to do the grocery shopping so caputo's valley produce and aldi tomorrow and we're done for the week just because that's actual grocery shopping the other things aren't so much grocery shopping it's just like extra stuff um but then the uh, so these are like what i ended up doing in the way i formatted it was red i was using for places i had to go so obviously I I have football game and I have to go shopping so I'm leaving the house to actually have to do that and then too like on Monday I have football practice and added the time in there I have that at six and then also too um, on Tuesday Wednesday is actually a mandatory um, head coaches meeting and I, I think assistant coaches are welcome too but I don't think I'm going to that so that's why Wednesday we have nothing and then Friday is actually also the blue white game and the pep rally so we don't have practice that day so we only actually have three days of practice this week Anyways, though, um, then I have on here blue is the color of things that I have to do that day. They're like, you know, mandatory pretty much. I got to get that kind of stuff done. Work is obviously mandatory every single day, so that's why I wrote it down. Again, that's also too, so I have a mental little note to myself. I can't forget to do it because sometimes I will wait until the last minute or completely just space out and it'll be 10 o'clock at night and I'll be like, oh gosh, I got to still finish. <laughs> so um, that's what I put there. And then laundry because I started laundry today and I need to finish that or at least continue working on it and hopefully finish it by Monday but that's another thing that I can't leave that sit in the washing machine or anything like that because then I'll start to get all nasty so laundry is a must and then also two dishes because again my mom did cook today and I will have to clean out the fridge and the Tupperware and stuff like that from this week so dishes are a must as well then possibly um, what I'm using green for is my meal prep that is like a I really sh want to get that done that would be ideal to get it done on Sunday but because I do have a football game kind of at a weird time I do have to go grocery shopping and all that kind of stuff plus work and laundry and dishes I would like to get that done but if I can't on um, Monday is when I would ideally also like to finish that so that's the same over here I have produce prep and freezer meals that I'm going to need to do which I actually realized I don't think I actually have freezer meals for this week, so I guess that's kind of a scratch. I'm not doing any. Then down at the bottom, I'm actually keeping track of my water. I see a ton of people always doing this in their um, journals and stuff like that, and I really want to um, just to keep track of it. I end up getting like a lot of headaches when I don't end up drinking a lot of water, and obviously it's not good. I need to make sure that I'm drinking it, and that again is I think a kind of a mental thing that um, I can always go back and look at. And then what I also ended up doing was doing my own personal meal prep for this week. So this is the, I actually wrote it on a separate piece of paper because my meal prep is actually something I kind of think I might want to keep separate from my bullet journal just for right now. And I also kind of need lined paper because I'm a little sloppy with my writing again. <laughs> so lined paper actually helps my writing stay a little bit more neat. Um, but for my meal prep, I did my breakfast, my lunch, my snack, and my dinner. I'm not going to do this totally crazy like I was doing before. I just wanted to keep it as a rough idea of like, you know, bagel and cream cheese for breakfast, or I also, you know, can have avocado toast. Maybe I'll pre-make that or whatever. And then also too, I'm going to do potatoes and peppers this week because I actually have potatoes on sale. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing. And then like lunch too, one 
day I don't know if it was maybe on like Thursday or something like that I actually ended up having a spinach salad with mandarin oranges and um, walnuts over the top I think I told you guys this oh my goodness it was so good and I was like I really miss doing my meal preps when I would have those for lunch all the time and so I was like you know what? I'll do it so I'm going to do those as well um, and make those so um, also to a spinach and tomatoes with some flower seeds which I also really love I love spinach I love 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 spinach way more than I like lettuce so that's why I'm going to do that but I have that on there and then my snacks too like hummus I have pretzel chips already so that's what I normally have it with and then also too they had Annie's organic um, cheddar not the cheddar bunny but like cheddar crackers at Menards for like a dollar I think it was under a dollar fifty or something like that and I was like that's actually not a bad price because normally they're pretty expensive like two three four dollars something like that so I thought it was a decent price I was getting them at um what was it at uh, Caputo's for like a dollar was super cheap but I thought that was actually still a decent deal so that's why I'm thinking about doing for this week and kind of do my snack box again and throw in like some hopefully fruits and vegetables because I've been eating really unhealthy lately because I haven't had any food that I can just like really quickly have or whatever and when I do my meal prep I do it all in one day so that then I can just do that just pull that food and be like okay you know what instead of eating super unhealthy I'll have hummus and chips which is a lot better than eating like you know really other unhealthy things and on top of that too if I can balance it out where I'm eating you know like a little bit healthier for lunch and then have a snack where I'm not eating so healthy is a lot better than like just eating a full bag of chips or something like that you know I don't I'm not really a chip person but like a whole bag of crackers or something like that and it's a lot better if I again balance that out and can make that one bag kind of last like the whole week instead of like two days um so that's ideal and then for dinner what I'm actually going to do is make three different types of soup in the crock pot and actually freeze them um not I don't think all at the same time but I don't know if I'll actually have that ready for dinner or what I might do is um make some sandwiches for myself again long story guys and I'll share with you guys probably throughout the week but what I want to do is actually make these and freeze them um and I've seen like people take like the cups um like you make the soup and then you pour it into like a serving size or whatever and then you freeze the cup and then you take the cup and like you'd use like a solo cup or whatever and then you would like rip it or like cut it and then put the actual like the soup would still be frozen so it's almost like an ice cube a big ice cube and then you put it in like a freezer bag and then you can just take those out defrost them and cook them um, separately for yourself so that's what I was kind of thinking about doing um, just because I like that convenience and I think it would be really good especially to now that it's kind of dipping into more of the fall season that's what I would like to do um, but I'm not totally sure again I might not have that done for like Monday and Sunday and Tuesday maybe even um, so I might end up doing that later um, and just have like I said the sandwiches and stuff like that so I don't know guys this is just kind of a brief um, little tidbit into what my planner is kind of looking like I'll update you guys the next couple days and let you guys know how it's been working out for me um, but again, I think this is going to work well for me just because again testing it out with football just doing a regular I've been using just a composition notebook and keeping track of that kind of stuff I was like, you know what? This has been working so well. There's little notes that I have to put to myself and things like that I need somewhere to put it because I'm a post-it note person I just keep post-it notes all over the place and I'm like I need somewhere where all my thoughts can go into one place and hopefully that's this um, And you know, like I said, I want to eventually do my meal prep um, list planning and everything like that in a separate notebook at least for right now because I have a ton and as I was going through the attic today too um, looking at all of our uh, school supplies that we keep in a big bin because you guys know I'm a office depot nerd and go there every school supply season and get buy up all the stuff that's super cheap and stuff and like collections over the last couple years has been crazy that I'm like we have so many like um of the notebooks and stuff like that and I was like I need to start using these up what can I use them for so that's why I'm testing it out just on some um, paper some filler paper for right now but anyways guys I'm rambling on this video is getting really long and I've got to edit um, <laughs> I've got to do that that's one thing I didn't add in there just because I want to see like maybe tomorrow because I know I won't get to it tomorrow um, maybe but I really don't think so Monday most likely but I want to again kind of see how this is working out and doing this kind of stuff and then get back hopefully into that next week but 
Um, again, football season is super crazy busy for me and just super chaotic that I need to find a way to get it all organized and I feel like this is the way. So we'll see you guys. I will see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog and hopefully give you guys a little bit of an update of how it's working out tomorrow. And I will see you guys all tomorrow though. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a gold thumbs up. If you guys aren't new, we'd love it if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.